So this is the uh, Plaza Constitucion, that huge red square-like area here in Mexico City. I'm not sure what's going on. I was told it was closed right now because of the health situation. And I was told you couldn't even get off the uh, metro at the El Zocalo station. But people were getting off, so I just followed them. Now, as I tried to get into the square, I had to walk at least six blocks around. There's police presence on every corner. And something is kind of weird. It's more, it seems more than the health crisis. They all had like riot shields. And over here is a large area of people in tents. So I don't know if there's some kind of pilgrimage and protests that's scheduled. I don't know, it seemed more than uh, just the situ health situation going on. But I'm gonna wander around the plaza here and, and check it out. And um, I don't know, if there's going to be a protest, it seems pretty quiet. Christmas is in two days. So maybe there's something about uh, coming here on Christmas Eve or something I don't know about. I'll find out. So this is a uh, Plaza Constitucion in Mexico City. Yeah, something's going on around the uh, square. There's uh, a lot of police with their riot gear and the paddy wagons are parked here. So there must be some kind of demonstration planned. But it's quiet here at two in the afternoon. Yeah, there's a large section of tents here in the middle of the square and very few people in them. I'm, I'm not sure if this is a like a homeless person encampment. Maybe it's just a, uh, a shelter for those folks. It doesn't appear at uh, one in the afternoon that anybody's in there. Yeah, the square's all decorated for uh, the holidays, that's for sure. And other than uh, Mexican people, I appear to be the only tourist. So this is the plaza here in Mexico City. There are no tourists here. I, I mean, maybe some Mexican tourists, but I'm the only, uh, I'm one of the only tourists I see. I, they didn't make it easy for you to get in either. There's a uh, police presence everywhere. I believe there's just one entrance and they're letting you exit wherever you'd like, but there was just one entrance and uh, they weren't really taking temperatures or anything. It's, I think they're just trying to keep the crowds down and I just kind of followed the crowd and came in on that one entrance and I'm wandering around but the plaza is empty right now. Take a look. The president gives a speech from uh, one of these balconies I believe and this plaza is just full of, uh, I imagine it could hold 100,000 people. interesting is going on they just made an announcement and all the uh, street vendors grabbed up their things in these bags and hightailed it out of here so I don't know if the tax man was coming or what they'll probably be back in 10 minutes and I just heard uh, the one lady say La Migra was coming so even here in Mexico these folks are obviously from Guatemala or El Salvador or who knows where but they hightailed it out of here when somebody said La Migra. Again, I'm sure they'll be back in 20 or 30 minutes selling their goods. 
Here's a picture of the square from uh, 1942 with streetcars. Being from California or really anywhere in the U.S., it, it's cool to see these two and three hundred year old buildings surrounding the center here. I mean, today they're, they're just used for restaurants and uh, apartments on top. They're still nice to see, nice architecture. This building says 1775. bathroom anywhere around the square or the cathedral um, you'll have to go about a block away to one of these WC's they're just six pesos but there was no public restrooms uh, anywhere in the square or the cathedral maybe because of the health situation but I didn't even see any that were closed so just hit one of these WC's a block away before you uh, head over there for an hour or so all right, here's the cool uh, french fries and uh, potato chip guy. <laughs> 